Croke Park restored after the Beyonce concert and looking resplendent for the championship launch. But the president is not happy. Marie Hickey wants the support to get serious. Well, the message for this year's TG Carter Championship is that we want to change the record. And by changing the record, we're talking about getting people out, getting our attendances up for all of our games for this year's championship. Um, I suppose up to now we've had great support from um, media circles, has certainly improved hugely. We've had great support um, within counties and within clubs um, and people have come out saying how great the game is and how great the players are and how great uh, the competition is and the football and you know how wonderful ladies Gaelic football is. Um, but it's come to a point now where we need to uh, take it a step further and we need to change some of the things that we have there at the moment and the big thing is that we get our membership out and to our games and supporting our players who deserve every bit of support that they can get from their clubs and from their counties and from our membership in general um, and really at the end of the day we have over 180,000 members um, so we should have no problem in getting a crowd into Croke Park for our final and into all of the championship games that precede that. Um, I suppose last year we set a record in that we had the largest attendance at our finals of a female sporting event in Europe, in over 30,000. Um, and this year we want to change our own record for attendance at our All-Ireland Finals, which back in 2001, when Leash played Mayo, was 33,000. Now, the game has come a long way since then, and our membership has increased huge, hugely since then. So it's up to our members now to get out and to support those great players that we have and exceed that mark of 33,000, which I think we have no problem in doing um, because you know, there is great profile out there at the moment. Um, we've had some wonderful advertising campaigns throughout the Lidl National League. Um, we have media taking a lot more interest. And really, at the end of the day, if we get out there and pack those stands, everybody will be sitting up and taking notice and commenting uh, on our game as a game of football, which is what we want. So you sound a little bit frustrated, it's like you're fed up with people talking the talk, but they're not walking the walk. What will actually get people to go out, not just to the final, but to the other games in the championship this summer? Well, I think people have to make a conscious effort that we're going to do this. You know, it's all very fine to sit back and watch it on social media um, and watch the games on TG Car, which is wonderful that people do that. Um, but really, we, we have to just say to our members, we need you out there now. We need you supporting our players. We need to increase the profile of our game. And uh, we need to see some changes happening that it's not all just talk and that we see some action now and that people come out and support the games. Are you talking about families? Are you talking about young girls coming up who are learning the game and benefiting from the game and their teens and enjoying the game? Or what sort of group are you, or just everybody? Well, it includes all those. I mean, obviously, it's a great day out for a family. Um, and so many families have expressed that when they've come to Croke Park. Um, and so many clubs have expressed that. Um, but yes, I mean, club members coming out to support their club player on their county team, you know, people from counties coming out to support their county, um, general membership coming out to support the game in general and to come and see the great games that are going to be played um, over the course of the next few months. Um, I mean, there, there are so many different groupings, so many different aspects to it, um, that yes, we want them all out there and we want everybody getting behind us and uh, supporting the game. Maybe finally it's just hard to break the pattern, you know, the habit of people, they're not going to the game, but what would they enjoy most about actually going to the occasion, to actually turning up at the match, not watching it on TV or social media, as you say? Yeah, well, I think you just can't beat a live game and you just can't beat getting behind your team and you just can't 
beat, the cheer of the crowd and that whole camaraderie that exists between supporters and the rivalry with the other county and um, you know coming to the game, having the day out, making a day of it. Um, you just can't beat that until you actually do it. I suppose you don't realise the good experience that it is. So I would urge people if they haven't previously done it to come along and get a sense of it and uh, keep doing it then for the rest of the summer.